Hey guys, my name is Shreyas and welcome to Simple Chemistry. In this video we're going to be talking about um, the waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, uh, this doesn't really, this relates to the atom, but we're not really going to be talking about the atom. If you'll notice in the past videos, we've been kind of like building up the concept of the atom, starting with, you know, the early ideas to, you know, the nucleus. This video is going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to just be talking about this concept, waves in electromagnetic spectrum, um, separately. It's going to come and play a role later in later videos, but uh, I just need to focus this one video on just talking about this concept. And it's going to be important to know. Okay, so just as a background, energy is found in many forms, you know. Uh, we've, you've seen this in middle school, you've seen like the classic roller coaster example of potential energy turning into mechanical energy, all that interesting stuff. So that um, should be, you know, and you know that energy is found in many forms. But one of the ways energy travels though, so like moves, is through electromagnetic radiation. Um, examples of electromagnetic radiation you see on a day-to-day -day basis are like x-rays, the stuff you use at the doctor, you know, to get your, um, see the, see which bones are broken, stuff like that. Microwaves and stuff you use to heat your food. Radio waves, stuff you use to listen to music, all the, those are, um, uh, examples of waves. Light, light is an example of electromagnetic radiation. And electromagnetic radiation, uh, travels in waves, okay? Now, Wait, what is a wave? So this is basically a wave, what we see down here, just like this, this oscillation, okay? Moving up and down, up and down. Very simple. Um, now there's two properties of waves. Wavelength. Wavelength is the distance between two successive tr crests or troughs in a wave. So if you look here, uh, this wave, a crest is the things at the top. So the areas at the top are called crests. A trough is the bottom of waves, okay? Now, a, the wavelength is simply just the distance between two successive troughs. So it would be the distance between this and this could be considered a wavelength. Distance between this and this could also be considered a wavelength. Pretty simple. Um, the symbol for wavelengths is this Greek symbol called lambda. It's not really that important, but just make sure you know that. Um, so that's what frequency is. Now, I mean, that's what wavelength is. Sorry. Frequency is uh, a little... Uh, more difficult to comprehend. Frequency is the number of cycles of a wave that pass a point in a given second. So let's say like we have a point right here and this wave is moving up and down, up and down. It's, it's, it's going through, um, it's, it's traveling. Um, it's not just staying there. It's, 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 just, it's like, let's say it's just traveling in this direction here. Okay. Like as this wave. So the number of cycles of a wave that pass a point in one second is called the frequency, you know? So, um, it would be the number of cycles like this, like one cycle would be like, um, just this, this, this bracket here, that would be a cycle. So the number of cycles that pass um, a given point in one second is called the frequency. Now, the interesting property of waves is that the speed of all waves is the speed of light. It's just 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So all waves have the same speed. Now, you might be confusing frequency and speed. Speed is basically how, f um, how fast it travels, okay, how, how fast it travels, you know, a given point. Frequency is how, like, the number of oscillations in a given second. It's, it's different, okay? Like, like, speed is basically, like, how much distance it's traveling, while frequency is more related on the oscillations, like, the, the, the number of times it's going up and down and up and down in a given second, okay? So that's the difference. Now, the units for wavelengths, this is also important, the units for wavelengths are meters. That's kind of, like, makes sense, because, you know, we talk wavelengths is just a distance, so in the metric system, the way we measure distance or length is just meters. Now, the unit for frequencies is 1 over s, because we said the fre frequency is the number of cycles per second, right? So frequency, the unit for frequency is just 1 over s, because it's cycles per second, so 1 over s, simple. Um, the unit for frequency is also some per sometimes referred to as hertz, hc, uh, because um, sometimes it's an inconvenient, right? So it's the same thing. Hertz, hc, is also just 1 over s. You can use both units. Now, the interesting thing about waves is that they have this inverse relation. So the wave, for any wave, this goes for any wave, the wavelength of a wave, of that, any wave times the frequency of that wave is equivalent to the speed of light. Um, and this is a very um, important equation that you need to know. You might see questions which revolve around this. So that means if a wave has a high wavelength, then it's going to have a low frequency. And the same thing vice versa. If a wavelength has a, not not high. Let's say if it has a long wavelength, it's going to have a short frequency. And if it has a um, short wavelength, it's going to have a um, high frequency. Okay? Um, so it's, it's kind of like an inverse relationship. One goes up, one goes down. 
and if one goes down, uh, if one if this one go, the other one goes up, the other one goes down. Okay, inverse relationship. That's what inverse means. Okay. Um, so let's do a free practice problems revolving around this equation here. So the first question we have is the wavelength of a wave is two point zero zero meters. Find the frequency. So we know that wavelength times frequency equals speed of light. So we can just just plug that in. So wave length of the wave is 2.00 meters and we're given we're looking for the frequency the unit for uh, the symbol for frequency is that so I'm just gonna use that it's called a uh, new so yeah and then we know that frequency times I mean wavelength times frequency equals a uh, speed of the speed of light and we know the speed of light is 2.998 times 10 to the um, eighth meters per second. So from here we can just solve, um, solve divide both by both sides by 2.00 meters and we're left just with the frequency and that is going to equal let's see here divided by So that's going to equal this, and uh, in scientific notation, that's 1.499 times 10 to the 8th. Um, important thing to remember is that uh, significant digits still apply. So since this number has four significant digits, this number has three, and we're doing division, we go with the smaller number. So our answer needs to be rounded down to three significant digits, so that would just be 1.50 times 10 to the 8th. If you have no idea what the heck a significant digit is, we talked all about that in the first unit, you can go and check it out. So anyways, 1.50 times 10 to the 8th, and uh, don't forget our units. Again, the units for frequency is 1 over s or also hertz, so we can just um, use any of that. So I'm just going to say hertz. Okay, great. Um, now let's do the second question. Let me open a new tab here. Um, so this question is saying the frequency of a wavelength is 10. It's given this frequency. It's 10,575 hertz, and it's asking us to find the wavelength. So let's do that. Uh, we're looking for the wavelength, so looking for the wavelength, and uh, we're given the frequency, uh, frequency because so we can just sub that in. So ten thousand five hundred seventy-five hertz. And this just simply equals the speed of light, which is two point nine nine eight times ten to the eighth meters per second. Great. So from here, just divide both sides by, um, divide both sides by the frequency, you know, to just get what we want. And we're going to be left with just the wavelength. And that equals, let me see, 2.998 2 times 10 to the 8th divided by 10,575. So that's going to equal that. Put this back in scientific notation. We get this, 2.83498 times 10 to the fourth. And um, again, significant digits. This number has four significant digits. This number has five. So you're going to have to go with the smaller number, four. So this answer rounded down to four significant digits will just be 2.835 times 10 to the fourth. 2.835 times 10 to the fourth, and then um, again the the unit for wavelength is meters, so we just say meters. Okay, so it's pretty simple. It's just an equation. And it's very easy to use. Just make sure you, you do free practice problems and get familiar with it. So how does this all relate to this? All this stuff we've been talking about waves. How does that relate to the um, electromagnetic radiation? Okay, because we said that electromagnetic radiation travels in waves, and we know everything about waves now. How does that even relate to electromagnetic radiation? So, the wavelength of a wave of a wave determines the electromagnetic radiation. So, if you look here, um, this is called the electromagnetic spectrum. Gamma rays, um, there's different types of um, electromagnetic radiation: gamma rays, X rays, ultraviolet, visible light, light we see, infrared, microwaves, and radio waves, which consist of FM waves, short waves, and AM waves. Um, so how they vary from each other is simply just their wavelengths. So gamma rays and x-rays, if you see here, have very small wavelengths, very short wavelengths, 10 to the minus 12, 10 to the minus 10 meters, 
while these waves have very long wavelengths, 10 to the second meters, 10 to the fourth meters. So simply that's all it is, even color, okay, the all it is, uh, the variation in, in visible light, which is this color, is just dependent on the wavelength, okay? That's it. Um, so shorter wavelengths are here. Gamma rays, x-rays, we have shorter wavelengths. Um, in terms of light, purple, blue, we see shorter wavelengths. And then longer wavelengths are over here, red. Um, and uh, microwaves, sh um, radio waves have longer wavelengths. And then again, remember how I talked about the relationship here. If a wave has a long wavelength, its frequency is going to be short. And if a wave has a sh um, short wavelength, the frequency is going to be high, you know? So since um, these wavelengths, although they have sh um, short wavelengths, the frequency is going to be very, very high. And then for um, these waves, these type of electromagnetic radiations, um, although their, uh, their wavelengths are very, very long, uh, their frequency is going to be uh, very, very low. Okay, so that's that's um, that's really it. That's all you have to know about uh, waves and electromagnetic radiation. And um, we're going to be talking about how this relates to atoms in later videos. So stay tuned. Waves in the electromagnetic spectrum are as simple as that.